Hi, year 10. Let's talk about chapter 11. This chapter is uh, called the atoms and radioactivity and sometimes we call it particle physics. So it's something to do with apparently uh, radiation and uh, like the previous chapter, I will expect you to download the chapter notes uh, and you also need to use the textbook as well. So I'll put the link in the description. You can get access to it in case you need to read it. Okay, so let's start with page three of your notes and I will want you to read these two pages, uh, answer the question in the whole page and then we'll check the answer. Please pause the video now. Okay, so here are the answers. Uh, first question is asking you uh, the nucleus uh, components. So they are protons and neutrons, the only two things. And how do they bond together is uh, by a, a force called strong nuclear force, or some people just call it strong force. Uh, just a name for now. Uh, in IB physics, you'll learn more about it. So for now, it's called strong nuclear force. And uh, it, is, it is an attraction force, just in case you are curious. Uh, number two is asking you what are orbiting around the nucleus and that is electron. I'm sure you know about that. Uh, and the force maintaining the motion is called the electrostatic force or some people call it Coulomb's force. And uh, something more we can talk about is uh, for this force, uh, it is the force that maintain its circular motion. So if you recall in chapter two, you learn about uh, circular motion and electron will have the electrostatic force because the electron is negative and proton is positive and of course neutron is neutral so it's more about electron and proton they are opposite charge and therefore they will attract each other so electron is orbiting around the nucleus for the mass uh, you will find out that the mass of proton and the mass of neutron is almost the same. They are not exactly the same, be careful, not exactly. But you, for now, in IGCSE, you can treat them as the same one-to-one um, -one ratio, basically. If you try to search on Google, finding out the exact value, uh, they are almost the same. However, for electron, it's much, much lighter much much lighter okay so uh, if you really want to know the ratio it will be around 1800 times smaller than the proton and neutron so that's why I put 100 uh, 1800 here so basically uh, for you know the mass of electron is so so small so insignificant for the uh, the word nucleons once again these are some definition there is a much explanation I can talk about. So nucleons is just simply a uh, definition or defined it as proton and neutron in general. So proton and neutron is like what we call a subset subset of nucleon. For example, uh, when we talk about uh, gender, the subset will be male and female. And of course, nowadays you may have like something more. Okay, when I mean, I mean that's just a, just an example. So here for nucleons, that will be proton and electron, and these are only the only two things uh, under nucleons. Okay, the next part define these four things. So I call this one, two, three, and four. Uh, in fact, one, one and two is the same. So atomic number and proton number is actually the same. And if you really ask me to, how do we define it? Uh, this one is just really, you can only say it's the number of proton, right, in an atom. For three and four, that means mass number and nucleons number, they are the same. I mean, in terms of the number itself, they are exactly the same. And that would be the total sum or total number of proton and neutron. Okay, so for example, if you have uh, for say uh, something that has maybe eight proton and six neutron, then you just add them together become uh, 14. Then you may ask, so what about electron then? Because when we talk about mass, why don't we include the electron as well? And that gets back to 
question three here. Okay, we just talk about electron is much much lighter than proton and neutron, so basically that is insignificant uh, to the whole atom in itself. It's just like you grow one or two more hair, it doesn't really affect the mass show on the electronic balance when you measure your body mass. Uh, next is isotope. Isotope, if you study in chemistry, IGCSE, you surely know this. In fact, if you study chemistry, uh, this chapter will be very easy for you, uh, for at least 20% uh, of them. So the definition of isotope is simply an element with different number of neutron. Okay, I'll give you an example later on. For number proton, however, it, would, it must be the same. Okay, so let me give you an example. Hydrogen. Okay, everyone should know what hydrogen is. Um, if you try to write down the number later on in, or in uh, chemistry, you see uh, there are there are some number. For hydrogen, it will be one and one on the left hand side. So this number means the mass number, and this number means the uh, proton number or atomic number. So that actually means for the for this hydrogen atom, you have one proton. And for neutron, it is zero because apparently that's all mass you have. So you have zero neutron. Um, and this is one kind of hydrogen. There's actually another kind of hydrogen called hydrogen two. So what it looks like is uh, it's called, in terms of number, it is two and one. Which, if you try to draw the diagram for the first one, hydrogen one is just simply a proton. And of course, there's the electron outside. For Hydrogen 2, the structure will be proton and neutron put together as a nucleus. And that's why mass number is 2 and proton number is 1. This is called hydrogen 2. There's actually called hi there's something called hydrogen 3 as well, which apparently you can deduce they have 1 proton and 2 neutron. Like this. Okay, so apparently it's much heavier than the usual hydrogen. Hydrogen 1 is the most usual one. All right, we have most hydrogen in the world uh, belongs to hydrogen 1. Hydrogen 2 and 3, or even hydrogen 4, are very unstable. Very unstable. Uh, some of them uh, even uh, exist when you make it in the lab artificially. They don't even exist in the nature. But, uh, that's because they are very uh, unstable. So they will turn into something else very quickly. So you don't find them easily in that case. Uh, but anyway, what, I, what I'm trying to show here is the idea of isotope. So all these four are the isotope of hydrogen.